This morning's news tragedy marks the third fire and fourth death on a Vancouver Island First Nation reserve in less than a month. The coroner is investigating all the fire deaths to determine if there are any common factors, while First Nation leaders are calling on the government for change. Kristen Robinson has that story. One month after fire ripped through this trailer on the Songhees First Nation, evidence of the explosion that nearly killed Janice George's son still remains. And after learning of the tragedy in Nanus, she's warning her children about fire safety. I'm more cautious over fire and worry about their safety and, and I talk to them, you know, to be careful and watch over a candle that's lit. Make sure it's in a safe place or turn it out before you go to sleep. Last month, George's 28-year-old son Arnie escaped death after an explosion tossed him from the trailer, which contained a propane stove. Arnie is recovering from his injuries, including burns to his face. I'm really happy that in my heart and I praise God that he's, my son's okay. Ten days after Arnie George survived this, 44-year-old Wilford Joseph Henry died after flames consumed the single-wide trailer he shared with seven others on the Sartlip First Nation. On New Year's Day, 19-year-old Joanne Crystal Joe did not survive a blaze that erupted in her fifth-wheel trailer on the Cowichan Tribes Reserve. And early Wednesday, two children died when fire consumed a home they were staying at on the Nanus Reserve north of Nanaimo. Three fires in less than a month have killed four people on First Nations reserves on Vancouver Island. It's obviously a very serious concern for us because we've had a number of incidents in a very short period of time. We do have to look at all these cases, determine what are the common factors amongst all these incidents, and is there, if there's anything we can do and work with other uh, provincial bodies um, to prevent this from happening in the future. The Sartlib fatal fire occurred in an overcrowded trailer. The reserve simply doesn't have enough housing to accommodate everyone coming back to live there. Fresh from the First Nations Summit in Ottawa where housing was discussed, the Sartlip chief hopes the government will recognize First Nations struggles. Families don't turn families away, so extended families end up sleeping and staying with their relatives. And how do we find some kind of a, a solution to that? I'm really leery of fires. Back on the Songhees Reserve, Jerry Sam's home is next to the George's burnt trailer. She has a smoke alarm and makes sure to keep both her back and side doors clear so her children have an escape route. Well, it's very important because of all the fire we had.